Well, what I just talked told to your uh, so other outrageous. officer. His car number is 8523. He was working in his vehicle, off-duty officer, on Saturday here at Epoch, which I have post pictures of him. He never once came out here. He walked next to my children. He came out here. He never once told me I had to pick up my son. He was an Orlando police officer. He's a black male, very tall, with a black a bald head. He was off duty, but he was using your vehicles here. He never once told me. I've seen you guys on a weekly basis. You two are cops I've never seen before. But I come out here on a weekly basis, and never once did he stop. And he stood here on the sidewalk with my kids. And there were signs out. He never got grabbed them up or said anything that you've said. Now this new security guard comes out here and makes up these laws. I don't new. see an ordinance. Uh, sir, he's fairly new. He's, he's been at OWC in here. On Saturday was when I saw him. And he's harassed Today John Barrows over at OWC but as well, cursing him out. This here is a tall black male with a bald head. His car number is 8523, Orlando Police Department, off duty, using taxpayer dollars. He didn't come, so they hired him. Male, so what I'm saying is that I've never, out of all the times I've dealt with the Orlando Police officers being out here, which is several, you guys are always very considerate, and you've always gave us the ordinance oh, and the law. This is the first time you guys have ever been so abrasive to us to not show us the law. Abrasive? What? Okay, I'm going to tell you. You've had a no, you. I'm just saying that usually you guys come back with the law. You are being nice. I'm not saying I'm, I'm you. Still, I'm yeah, no, you're being you're being great. No, you're, I'm not saying you. What I'm saying is that you're telling us that we're wrong for saying what we're saying. But we've never had this situation with all of the police officers that have ever came out. You're the first one. I think she's talking about him. One to say these things to us. And that's why we're a little bit confused because I've literally had the Orlando Police Department on the sidewalk with me and my kids and my sign like this several occasions, more than once, and I never had a problem. So that's why we just want to know the law. I just want to see it because I don't want to break the law. I don't want to do something. I understand. Okay? So, uh, so, my, so I, I contacted my supervisor, and he is talking with code enforcement, okay? Cool. And hopefully I'll get a definitive answer. That would be great. I want to know just as much Yeah, as absolutely. Yes. It's kind I, of, I don't run into this every day. Obviously. Yeah, we no. just want, yeah, rights protected. He was saying uh, that we were being nitpicky. We're not being nitpicky. Right. We just want to make sure that our rights are protected. You came at us in a little bit of an aggressive way saying we're being nitpicky, but we're not. We've been out here for years. Years when they've been at EPOC, not just you. us, right. but we, and we have done very similar things, and I haven't had a problem. And Amber, as far as us having our signs out here, this is something we always do. This is no different. So right. today, all of a sudden, it became nitpicky, but it wasn't nitpicky. We've never done anything to violate. We always move off the sidewalk if somebody's coming. We don't obstruct people. We always we very much value the whole. I understand. So that's why right. nitpicky is not nice. I, I don't know. We're talking about abandoned cars. Trying to well, you're the one who's spots. telling us that's, about that's us abandoning our property, but we're. That's a uh, personal really opinion. That's, that's a personal opinion. Really At that right. point, you're yeah, stepping outside of your about. uniform and you're stating your personal opinion on this subject. So, okay. we're just defending our rights. Okay. That's all. And that's understandable. No one ever told you not to protest, not do anything. No, so you've been very respectful to yes. us, and we and really appreciate okay. you coming right. out. Thank you. We're, we're waiting. I'm, I'm waiting on a, a definitive answer from code enforcement. A on who owns the property, whether that's the city or that's the that's the property owner. Absolutely. Okay? But if it is the property owner, I'm gonna. We will to respect lean. that. Okay, I'm gonna have to lean on the side of the property owner. If it's the city, okay, and it, it seems as though it's abandoned, then it's it's, it's going to be. Absolutely, like we will that. completely comply and respect that. Okay. We just want now, a solid if answer. If, if if he feels okay, let's say I leave my tree, my sign against that tree. And I'm right here at the corner talking to someone. It's not abandoned. It, but I'm just saying, if he feels like it's abandoned, does he have the right to come and grab my sign? No, no, no because theft. that's theft. Okay, right. So you guys would have to come out in order to see my sign is there, to see if I abandoned it while I'm standing right there. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out this question. Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. There's, there's a lot of factors that would okay. go into a theft okay. investigation. I yeah. Just okay. sure. we'll, we'll worry about that when okay. we cross that bridge. I was Okay. I'm not gonna to leave my sign anywhere. All right. There's there's a lot of variables in a theft. You know, it, retail is different from felony theft, from a from a petty theft, uh, uh, second degree misdemeanor. Okay? okay. Thank you. On one, you have to have you know an officer see it. Uh, on one, you know you can take the word of a loss prevention officer or a merchant. Okay. One, obviously being a felony doesn't have to be within the view of the officer. B, you know if you've got multiple witnesses video and stuff like that the uh, officer doesn't see it then it's a misdemeanor theft you can take it away as well
So as far as that theft goes, then yeah, that 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 is a crime. Even if you did put uh, something on his property. I just want to make sure he doesn't feel like he has any right to grab with something that's. He did ask me. He did ask that. That's what I thought. And, and, and I did advise him that, no, that's, that is theft. Okay, thank you. That's right. what I thought. Because he has been very aggressive. And that's why I told you I want to file that report. Because that's how he came at me immediately when I got here. And that's why I know this is more than just us. He, he's intentionally going after us. I understand. With malice. With malice. I understand how you feel about that. And, I mean, if push comes to shove, you know, and you're die hard about you saying that was an aggravated assault with a motor vehicle, deadly weapon... And I go to him and say, hey, you know, it never happened. And, and you reporting this five days later is, is kind of, you know, it's it, it's like reporting something that happened a week ago. And, yeah, it's still a crime or it's an alleged crime. You're alleging that you're a victim of a crime. And obviously we're the police, you know, we're, that's. Well, how do I document it? Well, that well what, it that? what it does is it creates a paper trail. And that's, I think, what it she's does. trying to do. So that's the next right. time he tries to pull a stunt on one of us in right. a similar manner, we file again, and it creates a paper trail. So that is the purpose of this. Right. I just want to, you know, I'm just trying to use my discretion here and making sure that the intent of this report isn't just, you know, to bad mouth right. whoever because we what don't get actually in, happened. We I don't, mean, hold on. We don't get involved in, in civil issues. Right. We don't take sides right. on right. those, okay? When you were using the words of, you know, nitpicky, okay, that was his personal, you know, right. feeling about how you use such a word. and. The police are allowed to use that. You know, we're not allowed to take a personal side. Right. He's not taking sides here, okay? Maybe the way you talk to him may not be the way he liked, and maybe he, you didn't appreciate what he said, but him saying, you know, something about you using an analogy of parked cars and abandoned property wasn't exactly accurate to 